Hi, my name is Nargis, and I've been teaching English for academic purposes classes for over eight years. Currently, I'm teaching a writing class for international graduate students, where we focus on writing the different sections of the research article. Research articles have four main sections, introduction, methods, results, and conclusion. Each section serves a purpose, and the grammar of each section helps to express the purpose. In that sense, using grammar accurately and in accordance with the purpose of each section is really important. That's where using technology tools can really help. Professor Gray emphasized the importance of using lots of authentic examples to teach grammar effectively. I integrate this principle into my teaching using a method called data-driven learning, or DDL in short. Developed by linguist Tim Johns, this method focuses on having students work with authentic language data, observe patterns, and draw conclusions about both form and function. And as Professor Gray highlighted, the form-function connection is an important dimension of grammar teaching. Since my students' goal is to learn how to write research article sections, I create my grammar-focused DDL activities using authentic research article sections as the data. I focus on grammar features that are important to know in these different sections, such as the passive voice. Teachers can find examples of the types of text that will provide useful data in electronic sources on the internet or in the electronic collections and libraries. You can find example texts whether you are teaching the grammar of research articles, geographical descriptions, autobiographies, movie reviews, YouTube fan messages, or any other genre. Specifically for the context that I teach in, a corpus of research articles called the Research Writing Tutor was developed at Iowa State University to help graduate students at Iowa State improve their research writing skills, which of course include the use of appropriate grammar. This corpus contains a large collection of articles that students can view by selecting a discipline they want to view and a section they want to see. This screen shows the introduction section of a research article in agricultural and biosystems engineering. You can see how the section displays part of the introduction color-coded, blue, green, and red. These colors indicate the parts of the introduction that perform particular functions. When I teach grammar, I use these functions for showing students the form-function connection of the grammatical forms to the functions of the introduction. Let's look at the example of passive voice in more detail. What you see on the screen are some examples of the passive voice from published research articles, such as, this study was conducted over a three-year period. The participants were divided randomly into three stimulus conditions. Grammatically, passive voice is constructed with the verb to be, followed by the participle form of the verb. As you can see, the ed suffix is added to each verb to make the past participle because these verbs are regular. In the next video, we'll look at how I teach the passive.